Let me get some of this. Who the fuck is Emmanuel Ocho? I've seen you a few times on that of Fox Sports. But let me let me address this issue the way it needs to be put into its proper perspective. So we have Angel Reese, who has done all of the right things, okay? A girl that gets her degree, who's a champion, who's articulate, who's beautiful, who's on top of her game, who shows this is what you can be when you work hard all of a sudden becomes a villain. Now let's let's move the pendulum this way. Everybody is on the Caitlin Clark bandwagon. Do you realize that Caitlin Clark would not have the recognition she has if it wasn't for that of Angel Reese? Like Caitlin Clark got out here with the the gestures of that of John Cena who he got from a black rapper. Always pleasurizing to a degree but the fact is she was doing this so angel reese gave it back to her she became the villain when caitlin clark was doing it it was acceptable it was just a gesture that being a competitor would do when angel reese did it it became a problem now last year angel reese and them beat out for the championship yeah they won the championship. Angel Reese is a champion. That's the difference. Emmanuel Ocho, Caitlin Clark in Iowa. Yeah, they defeated LSU, but they got a game coming up Friday against that of Connecticut. She might get bounced out of the uh out of the uh, out of an opportunity to pay, excuse me, to play for a championship. But if she do, she still has to face that of either South Carolina or North Carolina State. Angel Reese is a champion. She has nothing else to prove. Everybody is coming out on this young girl saying that, man, she's arrogant. She's this. No, she's confident. She has confidence. She shows or she showed what being the best looks like. I give it to Angel Reese. They won, but she hasn't won everything yet. And for you to get out here and everybody to put this bullshit on Angel Reese back about LSU losing, it's not her fault. It's the coach, Kim Mulkey's fault. Why? Kim Mulkey didn't coach the game the way she should have. Do you not think that this girl, Caitlin Clark, this shit hadn't bothered her for a year? She got in the gym. She worked out. She trained. She put in her mind, I got to get vindicated because what happened? The mockery of us losing to LSU. She carried that chip on her shoulder. Kim Mulkey should have properly prepared LSU women's basketball team. She should have came in and told Angel Reese and the other girls around them, hey, listen, this girl is coming back for vengeance. She got a chip on her shoulder. I bet she didn't do that. Because she played, or LSU played, like it was just another game, and they lost. So when it normally when the coaches lose, a coach lose, the university fires that coach, not put the blame on the students back. I don't hear anybody blaming Kim Mulkey. The only thing they're talking about is that something with her and the national anthem. Ain't nobody saying a fuck thing about this woman lost the fucking game. Everybody wants to take pop shots at injuries. That's what everybody's doing. That's disingenuous. So for you, Emmanuel Ocho, whatever the fuck your name is, who are you? Where you come from? Are you even qualified to speak on the matter dealing with this matter? I don't know if you are or not. But if you, you or anybody else is going to sit out here and take pop shots at this girl, I'm going to say something about it. Unless you lost. Iowa was the better team, but the game was not coached properly because if you go to the game before that, West Virginia showed you how to beat Iowa. Iowa won the game by the, the referees giving a lot of petty calls. They won the game by sending Caitlin Clark to the fucking free throw line. 
But I'm not here to make excuses. I'm here to address the fact that it's bastards like you, Emmanuel Ocho, who wants to take pop shots at this girl. This girl, she has she has a degree. She's a champion. Caitlin Clark hadn't done that yet. And until Caitlin Clark gets that championship, all of the records that she supposedly set don't mean shit. And from my understanding, who you see on the screen here holds the record, not that of Caitlin Clark. Let me say this in closing. Y'all get off this sister's back. She exemplifies greatness. That's all I have to say. Anybody got any comments, leave them below. I'm Chris Miles from The Chris Miles Show. Moving Finger Rights has written moves on to all of you. Good day.